Hey guys, how you doing? Andre here from Beefutaki here with a another very interesting guide for you Mac users wanting to, you know, add a little bit more to your stream. Now, um, I know a lot of people, because I, I read the Twitch Reddit a lot, a lot of people are asking, hey, how do I do this? How do I do that? How do I, you know, add my current song that I'm listening to on on Spotify to OBS? How can I have notifications? things like that well that is pretty simple um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you guys something pretty cool that will pretty much show you guys how to do this now I don't know why my PS4 did this but whatever anyway um, what I'm gonna basically I'm gonna show you this thing it's called T-board it's what I currently use for all my notification needs and things like that as well as um, as well as a few other things. Now, you guys aren't going to hear any audio from the PlayStation or anything like that, but you guys should hear audio from here. I'm just going to make sure that this is set right. We're going to set it to this. All right, so we can basically do everything with T-Board. On T-Board, you could basically um, change your title, you could change the game that you're playing, um, you could see how many followers you have, you could run commercials from here, you could see how many viewers you have at any given time. Um, you could also have the notification widgets, which basically works for followers, subscribers, and donations. And as you guys can see, it actually keeps a tally of the last like 10 people, I believe. On this list, um, you can even save the last five to a text file. So it'll basically save the last five to a text file. So if you actually wanted to show that on stream, you could actually still do that. But um, this is to pretty much answer a lot of the questions. So we're gonna, that that's your notifications. And basically whenever you get a notification, it does that. And then whenever you get that, let me see. It's not even doing it right. So whenever you guys get a donate, whenever you guys get a donation, follow or sub, you know it plays that lovely. Well, it plays that for me. You can customize the sound that you want. You can basically have a long list here. You can just add an MP3 of your own, and it'll pretty much take care of it. Then we have the now playing, which is basically for your music. Now, in order to get now playing work, you actually have to have a Last FM user account, which is free. It's easy to get, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my thing here. I'm going to open up Spotify, and we are going to uh, see how things are. So now we have Spotify. Now to set this up in Spotify, we're going to go into our preferences. We're going to scroll down, and as you guys can see here, Last FM is here, and I already have mine connected. So with yours, it's going to say, obviously, connect, and you just log in with your Last FM account, and just like that, you're pretty much done. Once you do that, you can go to any one of your playlists and you can listen to whatever songs you want to listen to. Uh, I'm going to go to my childhood because this is music from my childhood and things like that. So now, because obviously that's what I listen to the most. So now to set this up in um, OBS here, we're going to use the text source. We're going to call this now playing because that's exactly what it's going to be. And something that I've learned is... A lot of times, most text can't be seen. So Verdanian is pretty much one of those best texts to use for stuff like this. And I hate when you select it, it does that. So now we're gonna read from a text file, right? So we're gonna add the file now that we need. And this is gonna be in the documents because when you install T-Board, it pretty much saves everything in documents. Okay, so it's gonna be called the Twobbler and it's going to be the now playing. Another thing that's great about this application is it actually saves the album art. My only problem is is that it does not update the images. Like you cannot update images unless they fix that, but not sure. Anyway, one thing I've learned is is best to keep your current song, the now playing widget, somewhere on the left side because whenever a song is playing like I'll show you right now like we'll we'll play method man and you guys should be well you guys can't hear because I haven't muted but as it's playing 
at this point, you basically well, it, it it updated there, so it updated here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a song that is extra long that's in this playlist, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna pick the LL Cool J jingling, but still whatever remix version and we're going to see just how long this name is now a lot of times when you go from one song to another when you skip around it it takes a while to scrub a song whereas if you were to just con let it continue it would do it right but um as you can see the song goes from pretty much here all the way to the other side of the screen now i'm hoping that at some point they'll allow you to keep it at a certain size and let it just scroll so let's hope for that okay guys either way um so that pretty much covers you know our songs and stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead delete this i'm gonna stop this and i'm gonna quit this now the next thing that we have are our lovely notifications for that we're gonna use our browser source plugin now for the browser source plugin I see that they have an experimental one called 1.0.10 point something do not use that one it crashes this version or for me I haven't been able to actually get this to run stably on any of my Macs so I would stay far from it with that being said download the 1.06 stable and you'll be perfectly fine Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and type in notifications because with T-Board, it's multiple. So you can use either the website. So if you use Twitch alerts and stuff like that and you want to use that, fine, knock yourself out. But for me, I use T-Board and 1280. Since I stream at 1280, 720, and I'm going to use pretty much the stock one, which is somewhere like a bleep 260. So... I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go back to T-Board, I'm going to go to the widgets. As you can see, I have my own, I have a Fireball one, which a couple of my viewers love because, you know, it's a simple Ken coming out, chucking a Fireball, if you're familiar with Street Fighter, and it says Hadouken. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Notifications, under Documents, under the T-Board folder. Um, we're going to go to OBSJS, and we're going to pick the one of these here now what's great about this is that if you're familiar with HTML and stuff like that you can actually go in and edit this stuff so you can add your own custom images so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the notification widget I'm gonna go ahead and pretend I got a new follower so it plays it and it's not showing it which is weird all right I think I know why because it's not right the right dimensions. <laughs> Wait, cancel. Okay. I think I hit the wrong button. Whatever. We'll leave it browser source. Oh wait, cancel. That's why. Cancel. We'll remove this one. Say yes. Yeah, there there it is. So we'll hit cancel. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and we'll try this again. Um, I noticed that this is a major bug that when you add a source a lot of times that you have to like do stuff in it, it'll mess up. So I'll just call this one followers, whatever. <laughs> just for the hell of it. Click local file. Again. Um, and... Let's do 360. Okay, browse. And I'm going to use the second one, only because I like this one. Okay, and we're going to go back to T-Board. We're going to bring this out. And while it's here, you can actually see it do its animation here. Okay, so what I like about this is um, in the HTML, you can actually change it so it does different animations and things like that. So to me, that's freaking awesome. So I like that. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Um, I'm going to want that like right about here, whatever. And I'm going to test it again. And that's perfect for me. So 
once, once we do that, that's done. If I go to donations and I hit test, it's gonna do it. If I go to gone. subs, I'm gonna Every do it. Penny is do gone. it. Holy and things like that. So, so, as you can see, it's like different colors for each one. So, and, and that's pretty much the standard one. So you can go if you know HTML and stuff like that, or you have a friend, they could go ahead and change some of these things for you, and you'll pretty much be all set. So. If, that I believe will cover most of the questions that I've seen on there. Um, if you guys have any other questions about streaming on a Mac or things like that, um, feel free to go ahead and ask on the Twitch Reddit. Um, if you want, I go by the name of Mr. Beefutechi. If you want to send me a name, if you want to send me a direct message on Reddit, um, you could also follow me on Twitter. It's at Beefutechi. Um, if you need like something like right then and there kind of personal, just go ahead and um, email me at Bifu, please, B-I-F-U-P-L-Z at Bifu Techie. Um, it's B-I-F-U-P-L-Z and at B-I-F-U-T-E-K-I dot com. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and at, go ahead and send them there. Thank you.